yeah, I, th I think with you know both those teams, it's going to be uh, quite a physical start and fast start, and I think that's what we got that that, that first half and a lot of the second half for that for that matter. Um, yeah, I thought we defended really well. I thought we continued to sort of move and tackle well, and um, I, yeah, I thought it was a really good performance. And then, you know, we we carried the ball well, and we we chanced our arm at, at different things. Some of it didn't come off, um, but enough of it did for us to get those points. And um, so, it was, yeah, a really good start. Yeah, it's pretty simple, Ted. You know, like he, he's not going to come out and um, talk a lot and um, and try and make excuses and this and that. And he's going to perform to to his ability and and show that that was form, not um, not a new place where his career was going to sit. He was going to say, no, no, I'm, I may not have been happy with some parts of it, but. I'm going to train hard. I'm going to get back in early compared to what I'm supposed to, and I'm going to train hard and, and play well. And so that's what Ted's done since uh, the end of the season, and um, came back in before Christmas. Um, and then you get those rewards. You know, we saw that tonight. So real credit to him. Yeah, it was, it was my fear. Yeah, my longest preseason I've had in a couple of years. Uh, a couple of years, so I've had stem cells are coming back late and I've sort of just been having a couple of weeks under my belt before starting the season so I wanted to get in earlier and just get my body right, get get physically fit, strong and fast so um, that, that's, you know, like Robert said, I just know to work hard and now I can, once I put that work in, I can go out and play, play my footy so I'm happy with the start, there's obviously some improvements as well but uh, I'm just happy with, with how the team performed because um, we all put in a, a lot of work over the pre-season, every session we're working hard and uh, to have a performance like that, start the year against Brisbane, it's, it's pretty confidence boosting. Yeah, it's, it was good to soak up at the end. I think um, you know the build up and everyone talking about it externally. You don't want to put too much thought into it. You just want to go out and play a game and and hopefully win and you know and win the game. So uh, after the game, just looking around and. Um, you know, knowing the Super Bowl was here a couple of weeks ago, um, the stadium we're in in Vegas it was pretty cool to soak up and you know enjoy the win. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't realise it was that corner, but um, yeah, Joey Manu. Uh, he was here to play tonight. Um, I'm glad. Uh, you know, Tyrell and, and him had the, the baby possibly a day a day later and he wouldn't have been here and, and, and he played he played tonight and um, and I love that yeah, I think we all love that uh, we could put that skill on show and, and Joey's one of those top percent sort of guys that can do that and pull it off and it was a nice place to do it. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things, you know, I sort of openly spoke about us having a good sort of reflection on, on ourselves at the end of the year. Um, we shifted, um, we had Simon Jones come in as head of performance from New Zealand, who's been exceptional for these guys, as well as a couple of the other performance guys have been, um, they've been on point and pushing us. Uh, we had to change our training um, system a bit as well. Um, and it's not about the start of the year, it's about doing the whole year right. So. Um, yeah, that's one game, um, but it was a credit to those guys and and, and to our training throughout the preseason that we could start the season like that. No, I don't, we haven't leaned towards one or the other. We've just uh, we've changed the way that we go about our training a bit. Um, uh, yeah, which sort of has been had a huge difference on our combinations tonight. The, the, the confidence and discipline that they went into tonight's game with is, was evident just um, through a few changes. And it's credit to the staff at the end of the season and then the players for coming back in and, and, and knuckling down to it.
Was that a me? Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard of it like you guys have, so I, there's no comment from me about it because I, I can't have any opinion on it. I don't know what happened. Kevy was adamant. Right, so Ezra's adamant, not Kevy. Right, yeah, so, you know, that doesn't mean it's right. You know, he obviously made the complaint, but that doesn't mean that it's right. It'll go through the formal process as it should. No, no, I haven't spoken to him. I spoke to him about the game, but not that. Yeah, pretty much. We, we weren't sure if he was going to come or not, um, depending on when he had the baby and you know, yeah, and when he was going to leave to come over. So um, it was only a couple of days after he, he flew over, and I don't, he only had a couple of sessions with us to sort of get ready for the game. But Joey's just a footy player. Um, doesn't take him too much. Just get his hands on the ball, and he can create something out of nothing, which is what he did tonight. So yeah, we're very lucky to have him over here and, and play the way he did. Well, we actually uh, we spoke if it was born on the, the Saturday. If the little girl was born on the Saturday, then, then he was going to come. And if it was born on the Sunday, he wasn't. We spoke with the performance team. And, and then, uh, yeah, early hours of Saturday morning, the baby was born. So um, it's her first win as well. Yeah, it's such a, it's been, you know, I've had some, what have we had, maybe three sort of Paris um, to Wigan and then Barcelona to St Helens and they've been, um, they've been incredible trips because you've got to find a balance between getting um, the social right and enjoying each other's company and, and, and enjoying a new environment and locking into to training well and performing well and then you know, this was on a this was a big stage for rugby league, and we felt we wanted to be a part of that. It was just it was one of the best footy ten days that I've spent. You know, it was just such. A, it was great to hang out with these guys outside of an office setting. You know, which coaches don't always get to do, and then just to be here and and in Vegas, and you know, as I said, one of the biggest cities in the world most iconic cities in the world for the, sort of the playground and, and now becoming sport and for us to play here it's just so great it's you know I think we're all interested in what's going to come of this weekend and, and and how do we quantify what what we got out of this weekend but to continue that and say no no we're going to have a crack on the world stage it's a really nice thing from the NRL to do and then we got to we got to have a great 10 days and enjoy it as well I think it's absolutely fair that we get the chance to come back again next year. Uh, I think it's about, you know, we've got to export our game, you know, and I think um, Nick's never been shy in saying, no, no, we, we feel like we represent the game of rugby league well, and, and, and if that's a choice, then, then we would like to do that because, um, yeah, we, we, th we think Sydney and, and we represent Sydney and it can represent the world stage. I think it's a a really strong brand in the game and if that goes in that way where that's open then we'd love to do it if it doesn't and it, and it rotates then definitely we understand that as well yeah it's about rising to the occasion as well you know you can't you can't spend days in LA and Vegas and just Imagine you're at home, because you know, you, you've got to look around and say, how good is this? And, but you can learn from the, these places like this. We got to spend some really good time with people in LA that open your mind up to what's possible. And, and that, was, that was really special about you know, what they've done on the, in a world market, you know, in business. So that was really good. And then to come to Vegas and look around, you, you can't, it is the big show. And, um, and you don't shy away from that. If you want to have a big show at the end of the year, then you have to. It's pretty early on to do it, but embrace it as well 
and then learn how to deal with uh, the fun and excitement, but also how to deliver on a big stage. If we get practice at that, then that's a great thing. Yeah, you, I, I was in and out of the first game, but obviously a lot of tries, and I, you know, I can imagine they were quite um, open and, and, and spectacular. So I think that's a, that's a great thing. And then I thought the physical contact and the, the continuity of the footy that, that us and Brisbane played was, uh, yeah, was, was quite high for a round one at, or at any stage. So, um, yeah, I thought there was some, a really good balance there. Yeah, and, and I'm interested, like everyone else, about... Sure, we enjoyed it, but I wonder what people that haven't seen it before, whether they're going to enjoy it. Trent, I, mean, I think everyone at Lewis obviously wants Joey to stay. Everyone wants to leave if he wants him to stay. He's only a great start there. I know you've been quoted saying you've indicated that he probably will leave. Has that stance changed at all? Is there, is there any more, more in the mid optimism that maybe you can give to the No, it's all been on hold there with... Uh, with obviously the baby coming and we, I spoke to him probably two weeks ago about it or what did we leave 10 days ago probably three weeks ago about it uh, and I, I don't think it's going to change because it's not Joey's not making it on a on a whim you know he's thought about it um, and so I've just stepped back make sure he's open with me about what he's thinking and um, if that changes I'll be doing cartwheels you know um, but that uh, he hasn't indicated that at the moment, but you know, for us, we're, we're leaving. We haven't talked to anybody. We haven't sort of done anything because we we want to leave that door open. But there's no pressure from us. Um, yeah, it's just a surreal experience. I think we you know we enjoyed our time in LA, but I think coming here, um, seeing all the fans, seeing how the game's being promoted over here, it's pretty special. As, as Robert said, I hope. Americans really like the product of both games. Um, I hope they can yeah, support it in the future, and, and who knows where it's, it's going to go after this. So, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just happy we could come over here and, and get a win and enjoy ourselves and you know build on our season for me. Yeah, I hope, I hope the game can grow over here. There's such a big market over here. I know all Americans love their sports, so this is another sport that they can hopefully get around and enjoy. And I was speaking to Puka Nakua out there, actually a, a Rams NFL superstar, and, and he loved it. So I think that's a, that's a good indicator. Hopefully a lot of Americans and, and other sports stars uh, enjoyed the product as much as he did. I think for us too, it's not, you know, we, we're big NFL fans, um, but we don't, think about playing it or my kids don't think about playing it but they all watch it and I think um, because of the way that the sports played you, you want it to grow on the ground and you want them to play but you also just want them to watch it you know if we can expand into you know a small market over here and they want to watch the game because it is different and it is physical that that would be a big jump for us yes yeah there's no uh, it's an easy place to keep them in no we'll, we'll stick together um, I think the boys are uh, chain smokers tonight for us, so... Uh, oh, maybe, I don't know. Well... <laughs> Somewhere else. Right, OK. Oh, sure. <laughs> we won't, we'll talk about it we'll later, about but uh, we'll all do it together. You know, we, we started together and we'll, uh, we'll enjoy, uh, enjoy Vegas, you know. We, we asked the boys to, to lock it down there for 10 days and, um, and we trust everybody. Everyone's, you know, half of them don't drink and some of them do, but, you know, enjoy your wins, you know, enjoy the place that you're in. Uh, we trust everybody and uh, yeah, let's enjoy it together. Thanks. Thank you.